Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be sharing a speed paint I did a couple of weeks ago of my sister's character Simon. So before we get into the video, just want to make a quick disclaimer that I did lose all of my data on my external hard drive, which doesn't cause that many issues for me personally. I didn't lose any personal stuff, thank goodness. It was just for stuff I couldn't fit on my computer since my computer storage is minuscule. So I lost a lot of the footage, aka every single piece of footage I had for my videos on here. So yeah, that means a couple changes. I won't be able to finish the rest of that shrink cast series painting. I'm not going to change the title of it yet because there's a chance I can still recover the data. But for now, a lot of the videos I had planned are a little bit on halt. So a lot of my book cover videos are gone and tons of my speed paints But for now I'm working on just sort of making more content to fill those gaps So this is actually one of the first things I think the absolute first thing I did since losing that hard drive Just so I could start creating some more content and feeling a little bit better because I was feeling kind of bummed that I lost all of my videos So like I mentioned, I'm drawing my sister's character Simon and he's from her young adult contemporary novel stick people So if you don't know my sister and I are both writers So if you'd like to check out some of our stuff both of our links are going to be down below. Simon is the main character of her novel and he's such a great character. He's a very um, wry, bitter kind of person. He kind of reminds me of a Scrooge type character, but you probably can't tell from his expression in this painting. He looks really nice. I decided to draw her character because I wanted to just do some sketching practice and I thought, you know what, let me just do a little surprise for my sisters. This was actually just supposed to be digital sketching, period. It wasn't supposed to be a painting. I ended up liking the sketch so much that I decided to make it into a full-fledged painting. I was super inspired to do some digital sketching practice because I was watching a ton of Danica Sills videos on here. Yeah, that kind of failed unfortunately because it ended up being a painting anyway, but I really would like to do some digital sketching because Danica's stuff is super inspiring to watch and uh, I haven't really done much at all actually of that. So this is a full painting, even though I said it wasn't going to be. And uh, I actually had a ton of fun doing this. So I was working off a reference of Asa Butterfield because that's Sarah's face claim for Simon. And I've tried drawing Simon once before digitally, but it failed. So I was super surprised that it turned out pretty well this time. And um, it's because I was following pretty close along the reference and I actually found a really great one which is nice. I like that he doesn't look exactly like Asa, but he has some sort of his features, which is great. He's wearing his infamous school hoodie that he always wears throughout the book, basically. Simon's the kind of person who, after he graduates and is like 26 and, you know, has a girlfriend and he's just settling down, is still wearing his high school hoodie um, in like the middle of July. He's the kind of person to do that. Sarah hasn't actually written this book, Stick People, yet. She wrote, I think, 12 chapters of it or so two years ago and then decided to take a break from it so she could outline it and sort of create a better story. What she's read me so far is really great, it's really funny. Stick People follows Simon who's 17 a uh, couple months after a crash that paralyzed his twin sister. So the entire book sort of follows that and him creating a new friendship with this girl named Delilah and you know trying to keep his friendship with his friend Archie who's sort of losing his patience but Archie's a really hilarious character too I'd really like to draw the rest of her cast which I think I'm gonna do for a Christmas present which she already knows so I'm pretty much a step ahead because I've already done Simon which is great <laughs> I didn't think I was going to enjoy drawing Simon's hoodie, but I actually had a lot of fun doing it because of the lettering. Uh, my best friend often wears her high school hoodie all the time. So 
I decided to sort of play off that. I found a varsity font instead of hand drawing it, and I think that turned out pretty well. I initially was gonna make the letters yellow, and then I didn't do that in Krita, I think, and I was just, to be honest, really lazy to change the color to yellow, so I decided to make sort of the inner lining yellow, and I think it turned out pretty well. Half of this video is me color correcting in Camera Raw, and if you are a digital artist and you color your stuff in Photoshop, so I do paint everything in Krita, but then I pull it into Photoshop because I find I work a lot faster in Photoshop, and you haven't tried out Camera Raw. Um, I don't know if all versions, I think all versions of Photoshop have it. You'd have to check. It's under Filter, and then you should see Camera Raw Filter. Camera Raw is really amazing for editing everything. I always use it if I'm editing photos, but it allows you to pick up on just very certain things. So if you want to change the luminance of the oranges or the saturation of the oranges or make the greens more blue or something like that, you can do that instead of going back over and painting everything again. So I highly recommend checking out that feature. That's one of my tips. So I did flip a lot of things in this because I didn't want to take too long. Again, it was just supposed to be a sketch and not a full-fledged painting. So in the end, it only took me around an hour and a half to complete sketch to painting with full color. Um, um, and that's the fastest I've ever painted anything because I just didn't really spend too much time You can tell like I didn't blend out his mouth or anything and I hardly blended out the nose But I still think he turned out rather well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video That's basically all I have to say. Thanks for listening to the super rambly voiceover and I hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye